Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So for today's video I have got a bunch of townies together so that we could do a little bit of a genetics experiment. So I've got together some of the well-known couples in The Sims 4 and then I've chucked in a few other townies just for good measure because I have a bit of a curiosity here because a lot of the pre-made families, the ones that have children anyway, you know, like Nancy and Jeff, Bella and Mortimer, it's hard to tell whether their children are actually in any way genetically linked to their parents. I don't think they are. So today we're going to be having five townie couples have babies. We're going to be doing a little bit of a throwback to uh, some of my older videos where my sims were all related using MC Command Center to speed through pregnancies. We're going to see what the next generation of townies looks like. My five couples are each going to have one baby. We're going to age them into teens, give them a little academic makeover. That's an odd cuddle. And the only real reason I'm doing this is just to see what their children actually look like. Which couple has the best looking kid when their genes are actually mixed and not just made by the Sims team in Creator Sim. So you know what, in fact, I might just get some of them to get the ball rolling. So Bella and Mortimer, you can try for a baby. Nancy and Jeffrey, you guys try for a baby. Bob and Liz. Eliza is too angry to try for a baby. What? Oh, how has Bob managed to fuck this up in the space of only a few seconds? Eliza's spouse was flirting with another. Bob is just completely nonplussed. Who were you flirting with? I didn't see... You don't have any romantic relationships. I don't think he was flirting with anyone. I think Eliza's just being paranoid. I found this really cute looking... Well, actually, it's not cute. It's quite cool looking, I think. Boarding school on the gallery. And I used the full rent system to kind of set up little dorms. So I thought it would be a cute idea to have my Sims kind of create these teenagers using their genetics and then maybe move them all into boarding school. So we got the next generation of the townies all in one place. Okay, so Candy and Johnny are a couple that I've paired together. So you guys go ahead and try for a baby. And then another pair that I've put together is Dustin Broke and Penny Pizzazz. So you guys, you can go and have your very first kiss. Okay, Candy and Johnny, they're doing their bit. Penny and Dustin having their very first kiss. Okay, you guys go try for a pregnancy. Nancy, you've clearly done the deed. Go and take a pregnancy test once Bob gets out. Is Eliza still pissed off? Yeah, how long is she gonna be angry for? Seven hours. All right, Liz, just keep having words with yourself because you guys gotta make a baby. Um, are we, are we pregnant, Nancy? She performed be poorly, below average woohooing. Nancy is not pregnant. Okay, try again. Candy, you want to go take a pregnancy test? I think once I age their children up, obviously I can't control what they look like because they'll share their genetics, but I'm going to try and make them look kind of similar to their parents. Like Candy's kid is going to have some pink in their hair, maybe. Oh, congratulations, we got our first pregnancy, Candy Bear. Okay, you two are trying, Nancy and Jeff. Bella and Mortimer are about to try. Penny Pizzazz, how did you get on with Dustin? You want to go take a prego test? Okay, Eliza seems to have chilled out now, so go and try for a pregnancy with Bob. What's the news, Penny? Any success? Yes, okay, second pregnancy. Perfect, perfect. Eliza, go and take a... Oh, wait, did you not get pregnant? Are you trying for a baby? Oh, they're going to woohoo now, okay. Quite a few of these ladies don't want children. Nancy and Eliza have both had a mood look, being like, why the hell are we trying for a baby? All right, Bella, let's take that test. Ah, oh, perfect, Bella is pregnant. So who else are we waiting on? Eliza and Nancy, I think. Okay, Nancy, take a prego test. Still not pregnant, man. You really didn't want to get knocked up, did you? Go and try again. Get it right this time. Eliza, how about you? What's the verdict? Not pregnant. I think there's probably some kind of neighborhood action plan going on because I'm getting a lot of jealous pop-ups. So maybe I've got like something where everyone's flirting with each other. Everyone's just got the horn on at the moment. Nancy's pregnant. Congrats, Nance. Very tense. Well, don't worry. You won't be pregnant for long. All right, Liz, you are the last one. Let's see how you and Bob got on. Still not pregnant. Okay, what if we try it in the shower? What if we mix it up a bit? Maybe it's because Bob's so embarrassed. Oh, finally, Eliza is pregnant, okay. Right, well on that note, I'm gonna put you all in labor. So Candy, you were pregnant first, so you can go in labor. 
go and have your baby. And then who fell pregnant next? I want to say it was Penny. So Penny, you can be in labour too. I just can't have them all have their babies at the same time. I realised a couple of years ago this glitch where if multiple sims have a baby at the same time, one of the babies just kind of disappears, gets deleted from the game. It was a sad time for everyone involved. Oh, we had a baby girl. Let's just roll the dice. Lorena. There we go. Penny, your turn. This household is getting pretty full. If you're wondering how I'm able to have so many sims, I'm using MC Command Center, by the way, to increase the maximum amount of sims I can have in one home. Okay, Bella, I think you were the third one to fall pregnant. So you can come and have your baby. Penny had a boy. We'll call him Roger. <laughs> Okay, Bella's gonna go have her baby, and then Nancy was pregnancy number four. So let's just get you in labor, Nance. She's very sad about being pregnant. Well, it's okay, you don't have to raise it. I'll just age them straight up. Don't worry, Nance, you're fine. Bella had a baby girl. We'll call her Kira. And then finally, Eliza, you can go in labor now too. Almost every bassinet is full. Oh, Nancy had a son, okay. Jaron. And Eliza, you're the last one, girl. Come give birth. And then I think what I might do is I might move some of the adults out just to make this a little bit more manageable so I can go into create a sim and take a look at them while they're teenagers. Even though my household maximum... Oh, we had a baby girl. Casey, beautiful. So even though I have multiple sims able to live in my home, I can go over eight. I can't actually go into a creator sim with more than eight sims. So I'm gonna move some of the adults out and then we'll age up the babies. Okay, I've added a load of sims to their actual families. Um, they're still in the house though, but as you can see, Cassandra came to collect her parents. Malcolm came to collect his parents and add Johnny to the family. And Travis invited Bob and Eliza to live with him. So now we are at the normal maximum household. So I'm going to come and age up all these babies. And then I guess we'll pop into create a sim. And actually see what these townies real babies look like as teenagers. Oh, who's aging up first? Lorena Bear. She can be sunny. Not that it matters. She's only going to be an infant for a second. And then I think this is the Pizzazz baby. Yeah, Roger. Cute. Oh, Jeffrey even took a picture. That is adorable. Okay, who's this? Is this the Pancakes baby? Oh, no, it's the Land Grab. Jaron. There we go. So who still needs to age up? Kira Goth and Casey Pancakes. There's Casey. Oh, she's a redhead. And finally, Kira. So I'm not going to change, like, their hair or their eye colour or anything. But we might use a cheeky skin overlay, just smooth out the skin, style them. I'm going to make them all dress fairly like academia style, seeing as they're all going to boarding school. Just pop in my full edit mode and let's take a look. Okay, so let's start with Lorena Bear. What does Candy and Johnny's baby look like? Let's just maybe take the glasses off. Oh, she's kind of cute. She looks just like Candy. I don't really see any Johnny in her. This is definitely good potential. Okay, moving on to Roger Pizzazz. So this is Penny and Dustin as a teen. I don't really think he looks much like either of them, to be honest. I mean, aside from his complexion and his hair colour, I don't think he looks anything like Penny. And he, also, he's so jacked. What teen looks like this? This is a teenage boy in The Sims 4. But okay, fine. Maybe you could be the jock type. Kira Goth? take a look at you girl well this is definitely Mortimer's daughter isn't it hundred percent Mortimer's daughter don't really see much of Bella in her at all this is what the goth child would actually look like not Cassie or Alex okay Jaron Landgrab oh I can already tell that you're gonna age up with a frown so Nancy and Jeffrey what does your biological team look you. like Wait. um you know, I don't really see the resemblance at all. Got quite a flat face. Yeah, I don't see the resemblance at all. But that is the real genetic son of Nancy and Jeffrey Landgrab. Okay, and then finally, we have Casey. Oh, I can already tell by that jawline, this is Bob's daughter. Let's take a look at you as a teen. This is the best one so far, I think, because this sim 
quite clearly has 50-50 features. Like, I can see both Liz and Bob in this sim. This is like the perfect balance. You can tell who this kid belongs to. All right, well, let's see if we can maybe give them a bit of a makeover. Let's start with Lorena, or Lorena. I'm not really too sure how to pronounce it, but I'm just gonna do the skin details I always do, just to smoothen out the skin. Beautiful. And if I go custom content, then I might be able to find a hair that's got some pink in it. Because I would like them to somewhat resemble their parents in style as well. I mean, this could work because I could change the front two pieces to pink. So that's an option. Or this one, potentially, some pink ombre. Do you know what I could do? I think I've got... Yeah, I thought so. Okay, this could be an option. This could work. Still pink, but quite edgy. Obviously, we're going to need some lashes. Oh, she's adorable! Could even maybe have like a little, little cheeky nose piercing, couldn't we? Something like that. Yeah. So I think we're going to go for fishnets. So I need to find something that's going to go with that. Some little booties and then I think maybe just some like shorts or something. I mean, these could be an option. I don't hate this. I'm not sure if it really works, but I feel like it could. Quite like the idea of like a jacket or something going over it. I mean, to be honest, this is quite cute, isn't it? That could work. That's a maybe. I mean, to be honest, I do like this top, but it definitely clashes with the skirt and there's a little too many, a few too many holes, I think. But I could change the skirt to black and then change the tights. Yeah, I quite like that. That could work. And then maybe we'll just do some black nail varnish because, you know, we're a rebel. Okay, Lorena, I think you are ready for boarding school. I'm going to set you as academic. You're all going to be academic. Cheerful and then just like your mum, you're a party animal. Okay, I'm going to do Casey next. I'll do the girls first and then we'll move on to the guys. See, I do want to use this jacket. I just didn't feel like it really suited Lorena very well. But it could maybe work for Casey, possibly. Do you know what, girl? Let's pluck those eyebrows. That, there we go. That's a bit better. Smoothing out that skin. Perfect. What hair would work well with Casey? I feel like she's probably a little bit more on the geeky side. I mean, to be honest, this hairstyle is cute. It doesn't work with the jacket, but I wasn't, I wasn't dead set on the jacket anyway, really. Maybe some little glasses. Just a little bit of lipstick. Okay, so the jacket isn't gonna work, but that's fine. Maybe something like this. Yeah, I like this. But we'll probably, I mean, we'll only wear this jacket if I can find something high-waisted that looks quite good. I think this could be a job for custom content, you know? Something like that, possibly. Or even this. Oh, I do prefer this, though. The only thing is, I wish I could change the swatch on the white shirt. I wish I could make it like a graphic tee or something. But I think this works quite well. I quite like this look, Casey. And you can be a foodie, just like yeah. your dad. Ugh. I mean, what were Eliza's traits? She was a snob, wasn't she? But I don't really want that. Maybe I'll do Art Lover, because Liz had an easel on her balcony. So that way we're linked to both parents. I mean, I started this thinking we'd be going down the academic route and we've ended up with more of a grungy style. But that's fine, I don't hate it. Okay, Kira, let's get some lashes on you. So I think we'll go long hair for Kira. This could be an option. I quite like these ones though, maybe this one. This one could be my favorite though. Maybe we'll just reshape the brows just a little bit. There we go. Yeah, she just doesn't seem to have got any of her mum's features. Like, Mortimer's features are quite hard, and Bella's are very soft, and she doesn't really... Well, I suppose her eyes are quite soft. But she definitely inherited more from Mortimer. Maybe we'll take these wellies off. I think we'll do a skirt with just some little boots, and I'm not really sure where to go on top. I mean, to be honest, I quite like the T-shirt she's wearing, but there might be something better. I mean, even this looks okay. Quite like this jumper. I don't know if it goes with the skirt though. Maybe we could change it to like either that or maybe like brown. I think that works a bit better. Okay, Kira, you can be, I can't really remember any of their traits. I think romantic is one of oh. them. 
Maybe gloomy? You know, because you're a goth. Okay, Jaron. Let's do something about those eyebrows. His eyebrows are naturally like in a an upwards curve. Maybe we'll give you just a little bit of stubble. Just a simple gelled up at the front hairstyle. Very 2010s. I never know how to style men. He's really jacked too. Why are both the guys like so jacked? I mean, to be fair, Jaron is going to be a bit of a posho because he's a land grab boy. So I feel like more of a preppy look might be appropriate. I think we'll just keep it simple for Jaron. So he can be, I think it has to be, has to be snob, obviously. Denver. And probably materialistic as uh -huh. well. And then finally, Roger Pizzazz. Okay, I think we're gonna go for like an artsy look. Do you like the idea of him having longer hair? I think probably we would wear makeup. Just put some little softener on there, beautiful. Okay, I'm thinking something quite colorful. Possibly something like this. Maybe some like, I don't know, messy so cool. jeans or something. Definitely into like art, fashion, that kind of thing. What kind of shoes? Maybe something like that. And then we'll also just get our nails done. Blue. And he can be, well, he's definitely not going to be materialistic because his dad came from, you know, hard times. Maybe an insider because of his mum. And I'm going to say good as well. Well, there we have it. This is the child of Penny Pizzazz and Dustin Broke, Candy Bear and Johnny Zest, Bella and Mortimer Goth, Nancy and Jeffrey Landgrab, Bob and Eliza Pancakes. And I think on that note, I'm probably just going to move them out and then get them into their little boarding school. Okay, so the school that I've placed down has like gendered rooms so the girls can bunk together. So I will move you guys in to... Okay, so they're in the girls' room and then the boys move you guys into the boys' room. We'll just pretend the rent is tuition. I mean, I could have made it free, but kind of have to pay for boarding school anyway, don't you? So this is now where they live. Just a cute little boarding school. Kind of reminds me of Harry Potter, actually. This is the girls' dorm. We can't see the boys' dorm. So yeah, we started this video with a bit of curiosity. And now we know what these townies' kids actually <laughs> look like. Which one do you think is the best looking? Let me know in the comments. But for now, that's it from me. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.